हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी इफ यू हैवन डन इट चेट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम हेवल डायनामिक्स एंड द प्रॉब्लम सीज दैट द ड्रिंकिंग फाउंटेन इज डिजाइन सच दैट द नोजल इज इजेक्टेड फ्रॉम द एज ऑफ द बेसन इज शोन डिटर्मिन द मैक्मम एंड मिनिमम स्पीड एट विच वाटर कैन बी एग्जेक्टेड फ्राम द नोजल सो दैट इट डज नाट स्प्लेश ओवर द साइड ऑफ द बेसन एच बी एंड सी so we have to find this va max and va minimum for which the water should be ejected to reach this point b and reach that point c so when the water reaches point c uh, that will be the va max speed and if the water reaches point b then that will be the minimum speed that is required this is my positive x this is my positive x and this is my positive y this is my positive y and now as we can see that uh, at the coordinates of point a let me write the coordinates of point a point a is somewhere here so the coordinates of point a are uh, the x coordinate is 0 and the y coordinate is 50 mm so let me write that the coordinates of a which is let's say x not and y not are we uh, let's say that this is x a and y a let's say x a and y a this is equal to 0 and 50 this is in mm and if we divide this 50 by 1000 so we will have 0 and that is uh, 50 divided by 1000 will be 0.05 okay so this is 0.05 0.05 meters now when the water reaches point b so what are the coordinates of point b so the coordinates of point b let me write the coordinates of point b let's say that the coordinates of point b are x b and y b so now this point b is at a distance of 100 mm from the x x uh, from the origin in the x direction so this is 100 and it is point b is lying on the x axis so the y coordinate is 0 so this is in mm now if we convert this into meters so 1000 100 divided by 1000 will give us 0.1 meter so this is 0.1 and 0 meter now the coordinates of point c will be from the origin um the the distance of point c along the x is 250 plus 100 so this is 350 so this is let's say that the coordinates of point c is x c and y c so this is 350 mm and the again point c is lying on the x axis so the y coordinate is equal to 0 so this is uh so this will be equal to again 350 divided by 1000 will give us 0.35 so this is 0.35 meters and 0 so the coordinates are in 0.35 and 0 in meters now to find the minimum velocity we have to consider the projectile motion of the water from a to b like this so now if i consider the horizontal motion of the water horizontal motion from from a to b so as we know that uh, while considering the project projectile motion the the vx component that is the horizontal component of the of the projectile remains constant and the acceleration in the x direction is equal to 0 so let me write that ax will be equal to 0 and we can write that in the in the horizontal direction we can write that if we are applying the horizontal motion between point b and a so we will write that xb the x coordinate of point b minus the x coordinate of point a this will be equal to v a x the horizontal component of the velocity times t and this t will be from a to b right so and this will be plus a x This will be plus half a x into t a b square. So this is that formula. This is uh, this is we can write that this is s equals to s naught 
plus uh, v naught t plus 1 divided by 2 a into t square this is that same uh, kinematic equation right but we are applying it in the horizontal direction so uh, this is s naught so this is the original position so uh, i can bring this s naught to this side as well so we can write that this side will be s minus s naught right so let me write that this is s minus s naught so this is the the final position this is the uh, initial position so this is again the final position the initial position and this is the initial velocity times t and 1 divided by 2 acceleration times t so so these two equations are same equations right so now if we know we know x a and x b so what is x b this is x b right so in meters this is point 0.1 so we will write point 0.1 and x a is 0 right so this is x a which is 0 so 0 0.1 minus 0 and v a x so let's resolve this velocity into its components so this uh, velocity will have one component in this direction and this will have one component in this direction so this is this is v a x and this is v a y right this is v a x and this is v a y so now v a x this is the sine component and this is the cos component since we are given the velocity of v a with the vertical right so v a x is let me write that v a x is v a sine of 40 and similarly v a y is v a cos of 40 so now let's replace this v a x by v a sine of 40 so this is v a sine of 40 t a b so this is the time taken by the water to travel from a to b this will be plus and acceleration is zero so this term will become zero so now we can write that this is 0 0.1 minus 0 will give us 0 0.1 and now if we divide both sides of the equation by sine of 40 so this will cancel out and we will be left with v a into t a b this will be equal to 0 0.1 divided by sine of 40 right so 0 0.1 and um, divided by sine of 40 this gives us 0 point 0 0.156 approximately now we do not know the va magnitude we do not know the time from a to b but we know the product which is equal to 0 0.156 now if we consider the um vertical motion from a to b so now for the vertical motion we will use again the same equation but now instead of uh, the x coordinates we will use the y coordinates so now we will have y b minus y a that will be equal to v a y into t a b and that will be plus 1 divided by 2 so in the vertical direction the acceleration is due to gravity so we will write this is g and this will be t a b square now the y coordinate of the point b so the y coordinate of the point b is 0 so we will write 0 minus the y coordinate of point a so the y coordinate of point a is 50 which is 0 0.05 in meters so we will write 0 0.05 and this is equal to now v a y is the cost component this is v a cos of 40 this is v a cos of 40 this is v a cos of 40 into t a b plus 1 divided by 2 and now as we can see that uh, our positive y direction is in the upward direction this is our positive y direction so the velocity is considered to be positive in the upward direction but as we know that the the water is deaccelerating in the upward direction so if it is deaccelerating in the upward direction the velocity in the upward direction is decreasing so g value is negative in the upward direction so i will write minus 9.81 tab square so now 0 minus 0 0.05 will give us minus 0 0.05 so this is minus 0 
now as we can see that here we have the product v a into t a b so now we know the product is 0 0.156 so we can write that this is v a into t a b cos of 40 and this will be 9.81 divided by 2 is uh, 4.905 t a b square now we know this product this product is 0 0.156 so let me replace this product by its value which is 0 0.156 so now if if i bring this term to the left hand side and if i bring this to the other side so we will have the equation like this we will have 4.905 tab square equals to 0 0.156 cos of 40 plus 0 0.05 and if we divide both sides of the equation by 4.905 this will cancel out and we will be left with tab square and if we take the square root we will get the time of flight from a to b so this is 0 0.156 cos of 40 plus 0 0.05 divided by 4.905 so TAB is 0 0.186 seconds approximately now we know this product now if I substitute this TAB value in this equation we will be able to find that VA that minimum velocity uh, which is required for the water to be ejected from point A so now we can say that using this equation we can write that VA is equal to 0 0.156 divided by TAB. So this is let me find it directly uh, 0 0.156 divided by the TAB which is 0 0.186 that we have just determined so that is 0 0.838. Uh, we can say that this is 0 0.839 meter per second so this is that minimum velocity this is that minimum velocity which will eject the water and the water will strike this point b so let me write that this va that we have just determined is the minimum velocity so this is the minimum velocity now again we have to repeat the same procedure but we have to consider the horizontal motion from A to C. So now uh, let me copy this. So now again the same procedure but we are going to consider uh, for the maximum velocity. Let me write that for maximum velocity we have to consider the horizontal motion from from a to c so now again we have to use that uh, kinematic equation for the horizontal motion and that will be x c minus x a and that will be equal to v a x into now the time will be from a to c now the water will take um, more time than TAB right TAB will be less than TAC so we cannot use that TAB value here so this will be TAC and then again acceleration is equal to 0 so we can write that 1 divided by 2AX into TAC uh, TAC square this is TAC square so this will cancel out since the acceleration in the horizontal direction for the projectile motion is considered to be assumed to be equal to 0 so now we know xc the xc coordinate is the xc is 0 0.35 this is 0 0.35 so 0 0.35 minus xa so so this is this is xa which is 0 so the x coordinate of point a is 0 and then again va x is va sine of 40 into tac and again we can write that VA TAC is equal to 0 0.35 divided by sine of 40 so this will give us again that same product VA times uh, TAC 
So that is 0 0.35 divided by sine of 40. So this is 0 0.545. Now again, we are going to consider the vertical motion, that is the vertical motion and from A to C, again using that same equation, but now we, we, we are going to consider the Y coordinate, so that will be Y C minus Y A equals to V A Y into T A C and plus 1 divided by 2 G into T A C square. Now, yc is, yc is 0, the y coordinate is 0 for point C, so this is 0 and the y coordinate of point A, the y coordinate of point A is 50, this is the y coordinate of point A is 50, so that is 0 0.05, so this is minus 0 0.05, now VA, y is VA, cos of 40 into TAC and plus 1 divided by 2, 2 and G is negative 9.81 into TAC square. So this will be minus 0 0.05 and again we will have VA TAC cos of 40 and this will give us minus 4.905 TAC square. Now, now we know the product of VATAC value. So that is 0 0.545. So now let's replace this product with its value that is 0 0.545. Now again, uh, let's rearrange this equation. Let's bring it to this side and bring this constant to this side. So we will have the equation like 4.905 TAC square equal to 0 point cos of 40 plus 0 0.05 and if we divide both sides by 4.905 so this will cancel out and if you want to find uh, TAC this is TAC square so we need to take the square root on both sides so this will give us TAC So this is uh, 0 0.545 uh, cos of 40 plus 0 0.05 divided by 4.905. So this gives me TAC value, the time taken by the water to reach that point C. So that is 0 0.309 seconds approximately. And now we know the product. So we can write that VA or we can say that V max is equal to 0 0.545 divided by TAC value. So now we can say that uh, 0 0.545 divided by TAC which is 0 0.309 this gives us velocity equals to that maximum velocity which is required is 1.764 meter per second. So this is Vmax uh, for the water to be ejected and this is the minimum velocity which is required for the water to be ejected to reach that point B. So the velocity lesser than 0 0.839 will, will splash the water. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Hibbler Dynamics.